In this third video on the spectacular 1100 horsepower Nexat system tractor, we will give you an insight into how the tractor drives during a test drive. Take a look at the two vehicles stationed in Germany and report exclusively on the company's latest innovations and activities in the USA and Brazil. Back around a year ago, we exclusively reported on the Nexat wide-span carrier vehicle for the very first time. The topic attracted a lot of interest and has provided plenty of material for discussion on our German, English and French YouTube channels. In the second part of this series, we reported on the fieldwork with two 14-meter Nexat machines on an arable farm in eastern Germany. We were on location several times this year and were even able to see what it was like to drive the tractor for ourselves. The next app is still driven from the cab. However, as we have already been able to demonstrate in previous reports, the development of autonomous driving is in full swing. So how exactly is the Nexat operated? On the left, we have a control lever for steering, along with additional buttons for the integrated modules. And on the right, we have a lever for speed adjustment, along with buttons to control the integrated module. A huge screen displays the machine parameters, and of course, I can also alter the settings using this screen. Four cameras help me to keep an eye on what's going on around me. Let's take it for a spin. The Nexat no longer needs to be steered manually when working in the field, and the arable giant also manages the headland without the driver's intervention. The tractor recognizes the headland and carries out all work steps automatically. This puts the Nexat on the same level as leading tractor manufacturers in terms of technology. Other smart farming features such as variable rate and section control are also no problem for the Nexat, thanks to the Isobus functionality. Drivers can fully concentrate on the results of their work and adjust the cab to get an optimal view of the integrated module. The RTK guidance system can be monitored at the top of the 22-inch upright display. This software was actually developed entirely in-house by Nexat. The middle section of the display is for vehicle monitoring and the lower section for module monitoring. Following the software update, the display of the surrounding cameras has been moved from the cab roof to the upright display on the right-hand A-frame, providing the operator with a clear overview of the entire working environment. In this test drive, we used a carrier short disc harrow to prepare the field for maize sowing, which was done in parallel with a second Nexat and Vederstadt Tempo combination. The carrier vehicle has a lifting range of 80 centimeters and can reach a clearance height of two meters its tyres are Michelin, dimension 750 over 70 or 44. While sowing or carrying out crop protection work, the Nexat only runs one of its two diesel engines. When tilling soil, the Liebherr engines purr along at around 1300 revs per minute. Up to a working speed of about 11 kilometres, just one engine would be sufficient here as well. The switch from field to street mode, shown here, known as dancing in developer circles, takes just two minutes and is done automatically. The driver selects the relevant program in the terminal and then only needs to define the speed of the process manually. The drive itself is provided by four efficient, compact 160 kilowatt or 220 horsepower electric motors, which are located directly on the wheel or track. The farm manager of the 6,000 hectare farm, where the two Nexats are at work, noticed that they made significant fuel savings at the end of the season compared to their previous management method. 
just like in Ukraine, where the system tractor is still at work, the Nexat will take over the entire management of a section of the farm here in eastern Germany. A Daman crop protection sprayer with a 56-meter dribble bar and a tank capacity of 18,000 liters has already been supplied. And a slurry tanker is set to follow next year. As we explained in the first two videos, Nexat not only provides the carrier vehicle, but also a holistic arable farming concept. Work is carried out according to what is known as the wide-span controlled traffic principle. The fields and tracks are defined in advance with the help of software developed by Nexat and are then used for all field work in subsequent years. The intermediate growth space is only tilled but no longer driven on or compacted. The full planting potential of the field is made usable. Direct drilling, as shown in these photographs, is also likely to be a hot topic on many Nexat farms in the future. I am now here behind the working module, practically at the rear of the Nexat. The dimensions of the machine are simply huge, but at the same time very compact when you look at the way the modules are hooked into the carrier vehicle. It only takes a few minutes to change the working module, and this process is also set to take place automatically in future. The quick change of equipment, requiring only one person, is essential so that the Nexat can play on its advantages as an interchangeable carrier vehicle. Exciting but still secret developments are currently underway here and we will continue to report on them in this video series. Once the soil cultivation night shift is completed, the machine is switched over to the Nexco Combine Harvester module. Any fine tuning can be carried out by remote control from outside the cab if necessary. The working module is picked up at fixed pickup points and locked into place with catch hooks. The hydraulic oil supply to the Nexco is established with the aid of two faster quick couplers. The electrics are then connected. The belt drive is automatically coupled. Maintenance points such as the oil dipstick or the air filter are easily accessible. The Nexat has a working width of 3.5 meters. However, road travel with a rotary header swung up, as filmed in these shots, is more suitable for regions where transport width is less of an issue. The current 25 km an hour top speed is set to be increased in future. We have already reported on the Nexco harvesting module with its threshing drum built in lengthways. This is a proprietary development that is perfectly matched to the carrier vehicle. Travelling speeds of up to 12 km an hour in wheat can be reached. At 5.8 meters, the rotor length has dimensions equal to the grain tank, which has a capacity of 32 cubic meters. Performance data that has never been seen before, even in the flagship machines of established combine harvester manufacturers. Using what is known as a grain cam, the harvested crop is analyzed in real time to check for non-grain components and broken grains using artificial intelligence. Here too, Nexat is on the cutting edge of technology. The grain is transferred to a transport vehicle at the edge of the field at a rate of up to 600 liters per second. The throughput, combined with the 50-foot Draper header from Geringhof, is enormous. The equivalent 15.25-metre-wide header is still being tested, but should soon be available for standard combine harvesters. We also learnt that in future they will work with other header manufacturers so they can offer their customers more options. This brings us to the topic of North America. Nexat has also already arrived in the Midwest. Wheat, soybeans and grain maize were threshed on a large farm during the 2022 season. The Vedastat equipment range will also be used here and supplemented with North American technology.
After Europe and North America, the Nexat is scheduled to thresh in South America, in Brazil, as early as the start of 2023. We have already travelled to the target region, the state of Mato Grosso, when filming our Agriculture in South America production. High interest was shown by the local farmers during our search for a suitable test farm. But more on that next year. It's really impressive to see how the team, under the leadership of managing directors Felix Calvacamp and his father Clemens, were able to bring the development of Nexat to such a high level in such a short space of time. It's certainly worth mentioning the company's DLG gold medal again. We introduced you to the factory in Riesta in Western Germany and the test site in part two of this video series. Construction work is currently underway here to expand the site's development and production capacity. Fifteen new Nexat machines have been built here for the next season in 2023, some of which are already being handed over to customers. The young team staff now numbers over a hundred, but reinforcements are still being sought in all areas. You can find more information about this, along with a whole range of other topics, at nexat.de and on the Nexat Instagram page. We will continue to follow the developments around Nexat for you and bring you more information about their foreign missions. We've linked the first two videos again in the video description.